Good evening, I'm Jeannie McBride. New details tonight in the burglary of a Parma gun shop. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office says 21-year-old Dakota Safardi has been arrested in connection to the case. He's now charged with burglary, criminal mischief, and grand larceny. This comes after Chinapi's gun shop on West Ridge Road was broken into two times this week. But the sheriff says that's just the tip of the iceberg. Ashley Edlin has the latest. Monroe County Sheriff's deputies say they've executed at least four search warrants trying to get stolen firearms and pallets of ammunition back. Right now it's hard to tell how many we recovered. I can tell you that we have recovered firearms in these search warrants. Sheriff Todd Baxter announced they arrested 21-year-old Safardi in connection to the latest burglary and took the owner's license to operate away, saying this isn't the first incident of its kind at the shop. In fact, they told us Chinabis has been burglarized seven times in 11 years, and a total of 82 firearms have been stolen. Mr. Chinabis has been cooperative with us, but uh, obviously in the past, uh, we tried to work with him. The town of Parma's tried to work with him to secure his location. Sheriff Baxter explained they feel and have for some time that the shop doesn't have enough security measures to stop burglaries from happening and is an easy target. But he says it isn't easy to enforce. There's no hard, fast uh, guidelines that you have to have certain burglar bars or you have to have uh, lights or you have to, they're all recommendations. Sheriff Baxter said during that press conference today that they're going to talk to the district attorney about possible charges, charges against Shanapi, the store owner. He said he's been cooperative in trying to recover the stolen guns, though. Jeannie. Ashley, thank you. And Sheriff Baxter says the investigation is far from over, as search warrants today indicate Safardi probably did not act alone. A judge today also ordered for Chinapi's gun shop to stop business in regards to public safety.